more idea how to deal with routes and networks. There are eight railway stations from R1 to R8 are connected as follows. Here route, type of route will matter. One way routes are R3 to R1 means R3 to R1 you can go but you can't come back from R1 to R3 by same route or you can say by same rail network. No. Which direction of arrow is given? That direction only you can move. R5 to R8, R2 to R6, R4 to R8, R7 to R3, R5 to R3, R8 to these all are routes are that is one way. Two way routes are R1 to R5, here notation will be double arrow and R7 to R2, R6 to R4 and R4 to R5. Now the same table just to be compressed in a small table for handy reference. Just we will come to the question number 5. If we have, we have to start from R2 and we have to go to R1 then first we have to look from R2 how many different possibility we have to go for different stations. Just we look R2. Where is R2? One is this R2 to R6 you can start journey. Another is R2 to here this double added means R2 to R7 means we have two possibility if you are starting from R2. Either you can go for R6 or you can go for R7 means based on that we have two possible not network. Now we have to just pick the, between these two network both are able to reach at the destination or not second second condition we must we must it must be satisfied it is not only going for next station from R2 matter is through that route you are able to reach your destination or not like you have started from R2 you reached R6 afterwards something but you you again uh, trapped in deadlock and you are not able to go for or you are not able to reach to R1 then that route will not valid then these two routes just will try to elaborate or we'll just look out all the possibilities how we will able to reach our destination that is R1 R2 to R6 and afterwards just we'll look R6 how many things can I start from R6 R6 one of the possible option is we can go for R6 to R4 I think only one option we have if you are going to R6 then you don't have other option you must go R4 means you have to go R4 there is no option from R4 you have the option either you can go for R5 or R you can go R8 two option you have either this or this both option we have now first we'll go from R4 to R5 this option we have picked from R5 to R3 this is already given and from R3 to R1 this is one of the route another is R2 to R7 R2 to R7 this route from R7 direct route is there that is R3 and from R3 direct you can follow R1 this is shortest second route covers minimum number of cities that is R7 and R3 means you can say number wise in shortest route also minimum two stations or two cities you have to cross if we are if you want to reach r1 from r2 just we look next question that will give you the further level of understanding related to routes and network if Kohli wants to travel from r3 to r8 then which stations must pass through now what is condition here R3 to R8 if Kohli wants to travel then which station mandatorily he has to cross maybe sometimes one city sometimes maybe two cities sometimes one city mandatory they have to cross or sometimes two cities just will look R3 how many how many networks are coming out or coming in or we can say in exact mathematical terms it is a flux means how many are things are coming out how many things are coming in for R3 just we look R3 R3 one is here another is uh, here another is here and I think that much only 
okay then uh, just we'll try to figure out r3 one of the option we have we can go for r1 a starting point again i think next point we don't have means originating point from r3 we have only one option first first option that is r1 means we have to must go from r3 to r1 from r1 we can differentiate in two different channel either we can go for r5 and after r5 uh, directly we can go to r8 or from r5 we can just take one more station r4 and we can reach to r8 but in both of the cases r5 you must have to cross you can't avoid r5 your train must we crossed from a station r5 we'll come to the next question question number 7 if a train travels from r6 to r1 then how many ways are available without passing through any two stations any stations more than one means total number of routes we have to calculate and we have to calculate how many ways are available without passing through any stations twice because if you will give this condition then infinite number of route will be there any one particular loop they will keep on move because we have not put condition to repeat re, condition about repetition and just we look from r6 to r1 r6 one of the option we have to go for r4 i think only one option we have if you are starting from r6 only on one option i think other than that we don't have any originating originating path from r6 only one option you have must go r4 after r4 you have to check what are the option available one option is from r4 to r5 that is well established and famous route and another option is from r4 directly you can go r8 why we want to go r8 because from r8 you can go r7 and from r7 you can go r3 and from r3 you have to go r1 finally you have to reach r1 then r6 to r4 r4 to r8 r7 r3 r1 this is a okay valid route from r4 to r5 r5 to r1 that is also one of the valid route r5 to r1 here it is given this route r6 to r4 r4 to r5 up to here no problem r5 to r3 r5 to r3 that is one of the route r5 to r3 this one this route and r3 to r1 this we know already similar way r6 to r4 r5 r8 r7 r3 r1 total four ways are available from r6 to reaching for r1 maybe one route will be shortest another route will be longest which route will be longest i think option 4 how many cities we are crossing to before reaching r1 we are crossing from five cities r4 r5 r8 r7 r3 question can be asked like this also you can just predict these are all the prediction you can do during your preparation you can anticipate this type of question can be asked here question has asked about only if you are going from r6 to r1 then how many different route can be but you can anticipate the questions like if you are consider all the possible routes for traveling from r6 to r1 then how many maximum number of cities can be crossed or other way of asking which city cannot be crossed option r2 r5 r6 r7 or which city mandatorily cross maybe here question will be given a b c d r4 r5 r8 and next option will be all of the above then you have to mark all of them means different way of asking the same question to make you further confused and that is their target the target is to make you confuse and your target is don't confuse this is this is only battle in any of the competitive exam who are setting the question their target is to make you confused to make you perplexed consume your more time waste your more time give you more more stress examination pressure and your target is just opposite of that who will win who will able to manage yourself okay just will come to the question number 8 find the maximum intermediate stations during the journey from r4 to r8 if only one station repeats twice 
here one more information is given means you can repeat any of the ct but only one station you can repeat twice don't repeat keep on same as station then it will become a very lengthy route and you will not able to count it then first we'll check how many options are available or how many different routes will be possible if you want to try if you want to try to travel from R4 to R8. R4 to R8 one direct route is there without any intermediary stations just uh, you catch the train you will reach directly R8. Another is from R4 to R5 and R5 to R8 again you have the direct route. Next is R4 to R6 and R6 afterwards no route. After R6 there is no route means this is not valid route. This route will not lead toward R8 means we must go for R5 R4 to R5 and after R5 we can pick one of the lengthiest route like R3 R1 again R5 again R8 what is happening here R5 is only repeated only one station that is R5 is repeated twice maximum intermediate station how many it will be four four intermediate station we'll come to the question number nine no need to worry don't feel like fatigue all almost we have done another five to six minutes just will wrap up the session find the shortest route from r3 to r7 that easy you can say easiest question in this case let right? r3 to r1 r1 to r5 r5 to r8 to r7 that is your shortest route that is your shortest route because from r3 we have only one option that is originating from r3 that is r1 means you this is compulsory you can't avoid it after r1 only we have to look how shortest way we can reach up to r7 then only shortest way we have r1 to r5 this route and r5 to r8 r5 to r8 this route and r8 to r7 this route done three ct we have to now we'll come to the question number 10 and this question is at which station maximum number of routes terminates or we can say which are the stations or which is the station among these eight stations from where maximum number of uh, maximum number of train can come out or maximum number of train can come in means maximum influx and outflux combinedly just we look which stations are very frequently mentioned in all these routes given routes one way route and two way route if you will just make list of r1 to r8 that will be best for your understanding you can make it like a homework but here just by observation i can say like r5 how many times it is a, it is involved just will look Just while seeing itself, we can say four times R5 is involved. Either any route is come in or route is going out. Then we must consider or we must see total number of routes including incoming and outgoing from R5. Like R5 to R8, one route only going, going out. R5 to R3, again only one route. R5 to R1, one is going out one is coming in similar way r5 to r4 one is coming in one is going out total how many six this is highest among these eight stations not a single station have six total six incoming and outgoing rail network maximum they will have two or three or four but r5 station is having total six possibility for going out or six rail network is available six different route is available to come in the train and come out the 